up guys Darren here with small town preparedness and tonight it's gonna to be an STP chat just sitting here thinking um, I'm sure as most of you have you guys have been uh, checking out you know all the information uh, you know in the media you know and on YouTube and other outlets as well I'm sure um, about the fight basically that's gonna be happening tomorrow well, I shouldn't say fight, I should say protest. That's going to be going on tomorrow in Richmond, Virginia. You know, for lobbying day there. Um, lawmakers there want to do a lot of bad stuff. You know, to infringe on people's Second Amendment rights. And that's not good. Um, I, I don't understand. I mean, think about the big picture. Where do these people get off? I mean, really, you know, trying to say, well, trying to manage and say, oh, you don't need this. You don't need that. Really? I don't. How would you know? You don't know me. How in the world would you know what I need or want or use? But somebody feels they have the liberty <laughs> to take away your liberties which is a load of crap. Um, one thing that really comes to mind though, and nobody's really talking about this, nobody has said anything to my knowledge. Um, if somebody has, you know, list it in the comments below. But I think it's ironic because tomorrow is also Martin Luther King Day. And a lot of people don't know it or it just went under the radar because of all the other fights going on. But the irony of it, basically, is the fight for freedom, you know, and inequality has never stopped. And this is 2020, and it hasn't stopped yet. There's always a fight. Why is that? Why do people care about how other people live? If they choose to live the way they live... Uh, I mean, what is it my, what, why, how could it be my place to say, oh no, you can't do that? Doesn't make sense to me. You know? And just leave people alone. <laughs> I think, I think overall that's what people want. People want to be left the heck alone. I, I would. You know, and I'll tell you what, I sure as heck wouldn't comply with any type of gun ban. It's preposterous. It's ridiculous. I just don't understand where these people come off. But just fights for, you know, freedom and liberty in our country has never stopped. You know, we, we have our war machine that we basically travel around the globe to other countries. But yet we also have our own personal war machine here at home. And it never stops. There's always a conflict. I don't know. I mean, would it be boring if there wasn't any conflict? I don't think so. I think that I would welcome that with open arms. <laughs> you know, just leave me alone. Let me do what I want to do. You know, because that's what this country's about. That's what it was founded on. Being able to do what you want to do. And it's... I don't know. I'm trying to understand why people feel that, you know, like the words in the Second Amendment shall not be infringed. How does that relate to some people in their mind as debatable? I don't understand it. I really don't. And I wish I did. I wish I did understand why. But I, that's probably one thing I'll never figure out. It just almost feels like it's a babysitter complex. Like people feel that certain individuals in society need babysat. <laughs> I can guarantee you I don't need babysat. I don't know, just today is just trying to provoke a little bit of thought. Just the irony of everything going on, the fight that's going on, and on top of that, it's Martin Luther King Day. You know, celebrating a man who fought the good fight. 
you know, to give us our freedoms. But, I don't know. I just, uh, I, I really hope, I hope and pray that, you know, the demonstrations and stuff tomorrow are going to be peaceful, safe. And one thing I did here, um, actually on a channel, Guns and Gadgets, if you've never checked out Guns and Gadgets, do so. This guy does pretty good news. There was an article um, that he was showing, actually, that the Richmond, Virginia chapter for Antifa is actually siding with the pro with the pro Second Amendment uh, crowd, which that's crazy. I mean, and you know, as a government, you know, you really made some huge mistakes when you have these 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 two groups together fighting for a common purpose. Um, I don't know. But, I just, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words tonight. I really am. Um, I don't know. Like I just hope and pray everybody's going to be okay tomorrow. And just, the fight for freedom never ends. When are people basically just going to say, you know what? This is America. Do what you do. But, I have a feeling that's not going to come for a very, very long time and that's pretty pretty darn unfortunate if you ask me but I think I'm going to get off here for the night uh, everybody I hope you're doing good please you know have prayers and well wishes for everybody that's going to be in Richmond tomorrow we have no clue what people are going to be walking into um things could get pretty serious pretty fast and just how people are actually going to be caged in on the capitol grounds that's not keeping anybody safe if anything that's putting them in a lot more danger I don't know if it was me I sure as heck wouldn't be going inside any fence because basically all that does is just <laughs> make you an easier target um, but all right, guys, I'm going to get off here. Remember, events big and small, make sure you prepare for them all. Take it easy.